In this video we will understand Unit 9 Media representation of crime Let's start 1. Introduction Crime is a pervasive social issue that transcends borders, impacting societies on multiple levels. Media plays a significant role in shaping public perception and understanding of crime, often influencing societal responses and attitudes. 2. Relationship between crime and media. Crime representations in media. Media representations of crime often prioritize sensational and dramatic events, leading to a skewed perception of the overall crime landscape. News channels and newspapers tend to emphasize interpersonal crimes, especially those involving violence and famous individuals, which can distort the public's understanding of crime prevalence. Crime in media is a social construction, media constructs and disseminates societal values and norms, often reinforcing dominant ideologies and influencing public opinion. The presentation of crime in media is influenced by various stakeholders and commercial interests, potentially distorting the portrayal of crime in society. Reasons for increase in crime-based content the media industry's focus on profitability often leads to the prioritization of crime-based content. Emphasizing sensationalism and dramatic narratives for higher viewership and engagement. Crimes involving prominent individuals or sensational events are often given more coverage. Contributing to the increased emphasis on crime-based content in media. Concerns with crime media. The sensationalization of crime in media can lead to the perpetuation of stereotypes, influencing public perception and contributing to the stigmatization of certain communities or individuals. Media coverage can potentially shape public fear and perceptions of safety, impacting societal trust and overall well-being. 3. Cybercrime Classification of cybercrime Cybercrimes encompass a wide range of illegal activities conducted using technology, including hacking, identity theft, and online fraud. The classification includes cybercrimes against individuals, property, organizations, and society at large. Motives behind cybercrime Cybercriminals are often motivated by financial gain, personal vendettas, or a desire for power and recognition in online communities. Factors such as technological vulnerabilities, low cybersecurity awareness, and a lack of stringent laws contribute to the rise in cybercrime. Target group Individuals most vulnerable to cybercrimes include frequent internet users, smartphone users, and those using public Wi-Fi networks. Cybercriminals often target individuals with inadequate knowledge of cybersecurity and those who are less cautious about sharing personal information online. Characteristics of an offender Cybercriminals come from diverse backgrounds and may include individuals with advanced coding skills, insiders with privileged access, or those motivated by financial gain. Various factors including technological advancements and low cybersecurity orientation, contribute to the complexity of identifying and preventing cybercrimes. Cybercrime in India Cybercrimes in India have witnessed a significant increase, with a considerable number of cases involving fraud and identity theft. The proliferation of digital technologies and the lack of stringent regulations contribute to the challenges in combating cybercrimes effectively. Factors affecting cybercrime and cybersecurity Socioeconomic factors, technological vulnerabilities, and cultural attitudes contribute to the prevalence of cybercrimes in developing economies. The lack of cybersecurity infrastructure along with a low demand for cybersecurity specialists, poses challenges to effectively combating cyber threats. Cyber Law The Information Technology Act of India plays a crucial role in addressing digital crimes and regulating e-commerce activities.
The act emphasizes the legal validity of digital signatures, data protection, and the prevention of cyber crimes, highlighting the importance of a robust legal framework to address cyber threats effectively. Preventing cyber crime. Preventative measures include regular software updates, strong password protection, and the use of reliable security software to safeguard personal and financial information online. Promoting awareness and education about cybersecurity practices is vital in mitigating the risks associated with cyber crimes and ensuring a safer online environment for individuals and organizations. 4. Media violence effects and violent crime. Theories of media violence, theoretical perspectives, such as social learning theory and catharsis models help explain the complex relationship between media violence and aggressive behavior. These theories emphasize the role of media in shaping individuals' cognitive scripts and influencing their behavioral responses, particularly in the context of violent crimes. Strategies to reduce violence caused by media Promoting critical media literacy and fostering a responsible media culture can help individuals develop a more nuanced understanding of media content and its potential impact on behavior. Encouraging public dialogue and implementing professional guidelines for media production can contribute to a more responsible and ethical portrayal of violence in media thereby reducing the potential influence on violent behavior in society. The notes of this video is provided into description box. Please check it out. Thank you.